Okay, this one's asking to figure out expected value. Um, this will be a little bit longer because I want to make sure you understand the calculator and you can play this back a few times if you have any questions. But what it's asking you is what is the average result of this? So what you're going to do is, again, formula on the formula sheet, how to figure out expected value. However, in your calculator is going to be the best bet because what I need to do is I need to take the... The score of three multiplied times its probability, the score of four times its probability, the score of five times its probability, six times its probability, seven times its probability, then sum them all up, add them all up. Now that's a lot of chance for arithmetic mistakes. So this is the formula. Remember what I told you is I'd really like you to write down at least the first and the last, and you can put the little ellipsis, the three dots in between. I put it all down just so you see what it is. But what I want to do is show you how you do it on the calculator. So what you are going to do is you are going to go to stat edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the camera a little bit just so I can see a little bit more of the calculator. Because I'm, there, I'm going to go down towards the bottom in a moment. Okay, so you want to go to stat. You want to do edit, enter. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to put the outcomes in L1. So in this case, the outcomes are three, four, five, six, and seven, and their corresponding probabilities, 0 0.15, 0 0.4, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, 0 0.05. Now here comes the deal where you can use your calculator to help you out. You wanna go ahead and figure out the product of those two columns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrow over to L3, go up to the header row, and I wanna multiply everything in L1 by everything in L2. So what I'm gonna do is second, number one, and as you notice down here at the bottom, L1 appeared, times second, number two. L2 appears down here at the bottom, so it's the product of L1 and L2. I hit enter. Those are the components of your expected value of your mean. Um, what you're going to need to do is add those up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add those up, and then I'm going to come back and finish off with a standard deviation, even though the question doesn't ask for it, just so you can kind of see what it is. So what I need to do is I need to go back to the main screen. Second, quit, takes me back to the main screen. I need to add up what is in uh, the L3 column. So there is a way to do that. You do second, you do zero for catalog. And then what I want you to do is pick letter T, so, so the number four, and arrow up twice. That gets you your sum. You hit enter. And what I do is want to sum up the L3 column, so second, Three gives me the L3 column, I hit enter, and 4.55. So what we've learned from this problem is that it, on average, uh, Miguel would have 4.55 strokes on the water hole. Now, like I said, um, I want to show you how to get the standard deviation just while we're here and while we have the data in the calculator. The answer to the question is 4.55 strokes, but I want to add on as the extra review how to get standard deviation. So we're going to go back to stat and edit. And what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and we need to figure out how far each one of these guys are from the mean. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how far are my predictions from the mean, or how far are my, um, my, my values from the mean. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and say open parentheses. I want to take L1. I want to subtract what that expected value was, so 4.55. In the world of statistics, we have to have positive numbers because positives and negatives can offset one another. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square that to make that a positive number. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me the difference between the, um, the two numbers in terms of the, uh, the square of three and what the expected value is. Because what I need to do is I actually need to add those up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And that's gonna give me all of my components. That's gonna give me my, um, my results here. So in this case, what I want to do now is I need to add up all of those numbers. So I'm going to go to second quit. I'm going to just arrow up twice. <clears throat> it's the cheat way to get some. And in this case, I want to sum L4, so second four. Okay, that is not the standard deviation yet. That's the variance. That's the variance. And if you remember from class, variance is standard deviation squared. So all I need to do is I need to take the square root of that number. And the way I can do that is I hit the little caret key. I raise it to the 0.5 power. 
And that would tell me that my standard deviation in this data set is 3.3185, uh, so about 3.319. Um, that's if it asked you for standard deviation. It did not. It asked me only for expected values, so I would have stopped and not gone through this whole process. I just wanted to show you the whole thing from the beginning to the end on getting variance and standard deviation.